Okay, hello and welcome everyone. This is Thaddeus. I have been asked to uh, do a little video here on how to do a thumbnail for YouTube videos. So I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, a quick and easy way to do that. So right here I'm just in my test world in creative, uh, obviously, because I'm flying around. And basically what I suggest is if you're going to do a, a screenshot, pick something that you think looks cool. Here I've got a big uh, ship from the Better Dungeons mod, and I'm just going to use it for a background. So basically I, I'm just flying around and then I've got the big ship in the background. So I'm going to hit the F1 key, and that's going to take away the uh, heads-up display, so you can't see anything like uh, what my inventory is or anything like that. And from there, uh, we're just going to hit the F5 key, and now you can see that I am flying here in front of it. So you want to face away from whatever it is that you want in your background if you're going to include yourself in the picture. And from here, uh, you can just take a screenshot, which is the F2 key. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And then when I turn the HUD back on with the F1 key, you'll see that it saved a screenshot and it tells you the file name. And then I'll show you where to find that in your Minecraft directory here in just a moment. So the other option would be to do this from the first person view. And you can go ahead and switch off the HUD. And then you can take a screenshot from here as well. And this way you're not involved in the picture. Um, so it all just depends on what you want in the background. So from here, uh, I'm going to go ahead, well, I'll go ahead and I'll hit that screenshot here so, just so you can see it when I go and I do the editing. So there we are. Now we've got um, a total of three screenshots have been taken. Uh, I did take one uh, earlier. So there we are with that, and then I'm just going to drop myself in here. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording here and switch into Windows so that I can show you um, the editing process. Okay, and here we are. I'm in my VSDC free video editor, uh, which is the one that I've been using. Uh, it has all the features that I need and it works pretty easily. So here you can see what I've got set up already. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did this and then how you can kind of add in what you're going to be doing. So from here, let's just go into a, uh, a new project and we're just going to call this one uh, screenshot two, and uh, I have it here at the same resolution that I upload all my videos at. So we're just going to hit finish on that, and from here you can add in any of the uh, different effects that you might want. Uh, I'm not going to add any in. So from here we're just going to uh, insert an image, and from here uh, you need to go into your uh, Minecraft folder. You can either locate it through here, or if you go into uh, your regular Minecraft folder, need my percent there, and maybe if I finish the word data there. Okay, it's inside your roaming folder. And here's your dot Minecraft, and then here's a bunch of different profiles I have set up. So I'm going into my Season 2 folder, and from here there's a Screenshots folder. And you can see the uh, different screenshots that I've taken. So you can either get through it here through their own dialog box, or if you just have the folder, you can grab it and just drop it in. And then just like when we do the videos, you need to do a, uh, a click and drag so that you can actually place it. And that way you can move it around if you want. And I'm just going to go ahead and resize it to the parent size, which is the 1280 by 720, which is what I'm going to upload this video at. And then from here, what we want to do is we want to add some text. So here's the Add Text box, and we're going to do it from the beginning of the scene. And from here, we just draw a text box like you would in uh, any other program. And from here, we're going to right click on here and we're going to edit the text. So from here we're just going to say screenshot for YouTube thumbnail. Okay, and then it's going to paste it in there. So that's probably not what you're going to want it to look like. 
So here with this video editor, we're going to come over here to the right side where our properties window is. And from here, this here shows us what the text is, and this is the font size and the style. So if you wanted to change that, you click on your uh, uh, three dots there, and let's say we wanted to make it, oh, Arial or Times New Roman. Okay, and we're just going to do regular. You can make it all bold if you want, bold and italic. We can even uh, increase or decrease the font. Um, we can't change the color here, but I'll show you where you can do that. So there we are. We've got that. And let's see. Let's go ahead and change our text color right here. Just click on this. And uh, if you know the, uh, the ASCII code, you can put it in there. Or we can just go ahead and click on a color here. And there we are. Now it's all in red. So if you wanted a background color for it to fill in the box, you can do that. But I don't want that. I want you to be able to see the back. So we've got a horizontal alignment here. Well, you're probably going to want it centered. So we just click on center there. And if you wanted to center or bottom uh, align it vertically, you can do that here as well. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the top. That way it doesn't cover up too much of the uh, background image there. Um, other than that, if you were writing a lot of uh, text in there, you could have it do a word wrap or not. You can even change the direction from left to right. You can make it go up and down. A uh, lot of different options you can pick there. So this here is all I'm going to pick. And then from here, if we go into either the scenes or the projects, we can preview the scene. And right now you can see it is, looks like it's about five seconds. Uh, and then we're just going to um, preview the scene. So here we are, we've got this, so you can actually add this kind of as an intro to your video if you want. But what we're talking about doing here is making it a thumbnail. So in order to, to do that, let's go ahead and see what we need to do. I haven't um, done a full video save on this. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do for that. Um, I know we can do an export, but we just want to make it a file. So let's do... I'm pretty sure in the editor it had a way to export it as a screenshot. Create snapshot. Here we are. Create snapshot of selected object or scene. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's see where it's going to put it. OK. Selected object or scene. Let's go ahead and select the scene and do a snapshot. OK, so is that going to be this right here? Can we open it? Let's go ahead and do an export. Okay, it's going to come out as a PNG file, which is a, uh, just an image format. So let's go with thumbnail, and it's going to save it here in our video editor folder. Let's go ahead and put that, I'm going to put it here in my fraps drive, and we're going to save it right there. And now let's go into our fraps folder here into our compressed and we should have a PNG file. We're going to open that up. Okay, so it looks like it only grabbed the text. So we may need to export it and then maybe do another screenshot out of it. So let's see if we take this and maybe I need to select the whole scene here. Let me go to the properties and see if I'm selecting everything. From here, we can build a project. That's not what we want to do. What if we create a snapshot from that? Now it's showing us the image. Let us export that as well. And we'll just put it in the same folder and see how that one comes out. There's our thumbnail. There it is. And that has just the picture. So we need to go ahead and we need to combine these. 
So let me go ahead and do uh, an export real quick on that. Okay, it's only going to be a five second video. It's not going to be a big deal. So let me go ahead and convert that. Okay, it's done. So let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, so we've got this here. So we can probably take a frame out of this at any point. Let's go ahead, and this is actually becoming a bit more intricate than what I was planning to do. Um, let me just open this up, Project 3, and then let's go ahead and add that same video we just made into here. So, fun with editing. Resize it. Now, if we go ahead and take a snapshot, how's that going to come out? So, let's go ahead and export that. And we're going to call this Thumbnail 2. Okay. So, now we've got this, and now we've got a full thumbnail in a PNG format, and it's only 688K. So, this is one way you can do it. Uh, you could just make your own intro out of it, like the uh, five-second intro here that I made with this. And then just put the rest of your video after it, which, uh, which would work just fine. So, a lot of different options. Uh, I, I guess I, I must apologize that uh, I didn't run through the entire process first. Uh, but here we've had a little bit of learning together. So, this is a way that you can do this. So thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, let me know. There are ways you can do this in Paint. You can import a picture, open it up in Paint, and then put in a text box. But you don't have as many features as far as centering the text and colors and stuff like that. You can also use, if you have Microsoft Office, you could do it easily in Word uh, as far as putting a text box over an image. Um, a lot of different programs you can use. I use OpenOffice. You could do it in that as well. It has a video or image editing software. So any program you want to use to do that. Um, or you can do like I did here um, and just make yourself a little five